Welcome to another unit in this course on economics. In this unit, I want to introduce the neoclassical model of an economy. And here, I basically state the whole model directly. We can start in the upper right with the money market. The money market, in the easiest version, described via the quantity equation, which then would link GDP on the one hand and the price level on the other hand, if we slightly solve this. And they will be in a negative relation. In addition to the money market, we can also consider production as reflected via the production function and labor. So in this case, we would have the production reflecting a bit as well on the goods market, the supply at least of goods and the production of goods, the money market and the labor market. And the thing which connects all of this is in the upper left, the so-called real wage hyperbolas, which is simply a link between the price level and the real wage rate, which is considered to be the wage which is leading to all decisions from demand and supply side on the labor market. And that's the main idea if we want to build this neoclassical model of an economy. And then we can start discussing different effects. Labor market effects on the economy, production side effects or like changes in input factor availability, effects of technological growth, something like this, or even here effects of monetary policy as in an increase or decrease of the money supply and the corresponding effects on the rest of the economy and on some key variables like the GDP, the price level or the labor quantity, which then would also transfer directly to the unemployment rate. Well, that's basically everything there is to be stated about this neoclassical approach. It's just a summary of money market, labor market and the production function assumed in this context and the way how they are related to each other so that we can use this basic model to study specific effects, specific policies and their outcomes for the rest of the economy. So this concludes this rather short section and I say goodbye, see you next time.